according to the weatherman, we may be in for some storms and some nasty weather. The concern is going past today because we're going to see heavy rainfall moving in as we work into Wednesday, and then that's going to change over to freezing rain, ice, and then snow Thursday into Friday morning. That's why winter storm watch is in effect for Wednesday night into Thursday. And remember, we can't put down treatment until this rain ends. It's going to be wet right through the daytime hours on your Wednesday, right into Wednesday night. Could see some high to standing water. And then as we get into Thursday, we've got that freezing rain mix that will cause some ice accumulation and then snow on top of that Thursday night. Into As homesteaders, Friday. often one of the reasons why we do it is to be more prepared. Be more prepared if there's an emergency, if there's bad weather. Um, in addition, obviously, to eating cleaner food that we know where it comes from. So grow your own food so you're not dependent on everybody else, right? Well, there's a storm that's going to be hitting the Midwest. I think there's one that's going to be down in Texas, too, from, um, from what I heard from a friend of mine. We don't know what the storm's going to do. <laughs> no offense to the weathermen. I'm not saying their job's easy, but they really don't know what it's going to do. And uh, we could get a lot of ice or we could get a lot of snow. Now, if we get a lot of snow, as long as the power's on, for the house anyways, because we are not equipped to be off-grid. You know, we're fine, but a lot of ice, more than likely, we're gonna lose power. Uh, the lines coming in on our road are underground. However, where we're hooked up to the main, uh, there's a lot of trees. And in the past, in the summer when we've had bad weather, there's a couple times we have lost power. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be preparing just in case, because I'd rather have it than not need it. Okay, so we have all of our available gas cans. My brother actually picked up a couple new ones and we have two tanks for propane that we're gonna go down and get filled up. We have one can or one tank of propane already. But here's some of the reasons why we need propane. This is my Camp Chef stove. Let's see if I can pull this off. I use this in the summer. Um, we use it to can with. So it is a two burner stove. We use it a lot of times in the summer, especially when we process corn, because corn is messy. So I can do this outside and I don't have to have the mess in the house. So I can cook on that. The other thing, if I can figure out where it's at this second, sorry, our garage is a mess. It's a work in progress, but, oh, it's up there. Up there, I have a propane tank buddy heater. I usually use that whenever I'm hunting. We have used it camping before, uh, but we also have that as a secondary source of heat along with the fireplace. Let me get the tanks filled up. Make sure we have plenty of gas for the generator. That way we can run things when we need to. We have plenty of, um, we, we do have an oil lamp that heats and cooks. So you can check out, I did do a video on that. And then we have a couple other oil lamps and I have plenty of oil lamp fuel. So I'm not worried about that. I just wanted to make sure that I restocked back up on our propane. We do have one full tank. And then because if the power goes out, it might be out for several days. We can supplement heat between the fireplace as well as that small buddy heater and just keep everybody in a small space downstairs just to keep the heat in one area. I'm not worried about food. Obviously, we have plenty of things in the deep freeze as well as canned on the shelves. So that I'm not worried about. However, I want to make sure that I have a way to cook it. Now, I also have, if I had to, I do have cast iron and I do have a big Dutch oven that has that is made to cook inside of an actual fire. So I could totally cook with that as well. Um, maybe some people might think this is overkill, but I like to be prepared just in case. You never know what may happen. All right, everything is filled up. So I'm gonna head home, take it, pop it in the garage and keep it there. We use the, I think it's called E90 non-ethanol um, in the generator uh, that we also use that in our mowers. It just seems to help them last longer. So I'm going to finish doing a little bit of running so I can go home, get this stuff put away, and 
finished getting a few things ready for the animals. I made sure that we had plenty of feed. Um, we have plenty of hay. We store that up ahead of time. And um, then we also uh, are going to be putting some fresh bedding down, especially out in the uh, goat paddock, some straw for them to be able to bed down in and stay warm. It's now Wednesday morning and so far the rain has started. Uh, another thing we're doing is we made sure that the gravel drive to the barn is clear and we're going to park one vehicle inside of the barn just to make sure we have one that's not iced up in case we would need an emergency to get out. All the goats say this is a load of malarkey. Goats do not like rain. They just don't. <laughs> so the, I think it's kind of funny. I have another shelter over there and I think everybody is in this one with the dog. <laughs> oh look the geese are flying so I'm gonna go ahead and get everyone fed <clears throat> everyone has lots of fresh bedding to keep them warm that's really important when you have cold crazy temperatures is to make sure everyone has plenty of bedding good morning snowy there's not a whole lot else I'm going to do. I am running out to the grocery store. Not that we really need, need anything, but I am picking up a few, um, you know, just convenience items just so we have them. You know, I figure if we're kind of snowed, iced in, kids might want some snacks. So, morning fish. All right. I have to get the barn chores. I hope all of you stay safe out there. Take care.